simply dying to meet my mother and father. He gave me these pants just because he was positively dying to meet you all. Hey, Jinx, in case you're interested, there's a girl down here waiting for you. Three of her, complete with families. Oh, I was afraid of that. See if you can locate those two pals of mine and tell them to get rid of them. Don't <laughs> talk to that air crazy baboon. Say, what are you trying to do, ruin me? Yes, Mr. Gonnigal. Then you stay up there so long, my sideshows are starving to death. Now, come on, get down here. Listen, Gonnigal, I'll come down when I get good and ready. There's got to be something in your corny show to give the customers their money's worth. Lug gets down here, tell him he's fired. All right, friends, it's only a nine. One score for the for the entire family. It's wacky, it's stampy, it's crazy. We all have fun. Step right up, how many? There's nothing that we're here for to make you happy. Where's that nitwit partner of yours? He was here a minute ago. You guys are as dizzy as your pal up there. Now go on, get over to the hit the umpire concession. Another guy just got hit in the head and had to go to the hospital. That's the fifth umpire I've lost this week. Joe will take over here. And keep that little fat partner out of my sight, will you? Every time I turn around, he's under my feet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, all right. You'll have to get off. This is as far as I go. Take it easy. Come on. All right, now take it easy, boss. Come on, get up. Come on, Joe. It's dizzy. It's one dime, ten cents. The crazy house. Goofier and dizzier than any place you've ever been. Get in there and get to work. Come on, you. Well, you push it close. Come on, get in when he tells you. Come on, come on, get up. What are you doing? Just do as the boss tells you. Hmm? Come on, now, do as you're told. What are you do? Put your head right in there. Now, you like to play ball games. I love to play baseball games. Yeah. What part do you like to play? I want to be the boss. The big boss. The big boss? I want to be the umpire. Well, you are the umpire. OK. Everything all right? That's the boy. All right, friends, step right up. Three balls for a dime. Kill the umpire. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <Go> ahead. <laughs> Kill him, neighbor. Knock his brains out. Come on, buddy. Come here, wait, 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 wait a minute. Get another boy. No. My mother never raised no foolish children. Look, look, they're only cheap balls. Yeah? Look. You... Wait a minute. Now, come here now. Wait a minute. Listen, I'm now. going home. I forgot something. What'd you forget? I forgot to stay there. Well, all right, here. I'll straighten that out. Come here. Here. There's a protector. Put that on. There you are. See, now when the ball hits the protector, it bounces off. This is a protector? Certainly. And the ball bounces off the protector? Well, certainly. Did you ever stop to figure out what makes the little ball bounce off the protector? What? My head! Now, look, will you listen to me, please? Look. You see that bat up there? Yeah. I have absolute control. That was this little button here. Yeah. I press the button, they throw the ball, the batter hits the ball, and that's all there is to it. You can't oh, get hurt. Somebody throws the ball, you press the button, and the bat hits the ball? That's all. <laughs> I got it. Watch it. Hey! Don't forget, push the button. Okay. <laughs> Wait until I say ready. What did you say? I said, wait until I say ready. OK. What's the matter with you? Why don't you put your shirt tail in? Who do you play for, Brooklyn? Go on, get back there. Go on. Not until I say prepare. Uh, you thought I was going to say ready. All right, folks, step right up. Three balls for nine. Kill the umpire. Knock his brains out. I'm going to kill him over the head. That's the idea of the game. Ready. That's fine. Ready. Hey. Yeah. Ready. Put on your Bucky. hat. Never mind that. Put Bucky. on your hat. Wait a minute. Bucky. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. What's the oh. matter with you? Oh. Just stay back there where you belong. That's enough. I'm here, through. Here, here, here. What's going on? Oh, you okay. Think about it. Oh, push me. Hey, Don't tell me I can't that's quit. A, I can quit. That's the boss. That's the boss. What do I? Hello, oh, boss. I mean, this guy over here is using my head for a baseball. Well, I'll use it for a football. You don't get back to work. Now, go on. Ah, uh, poison ivy. Now you made me say a rash worse. Take it easy. Uh oh, 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 oh wait, wait, a come back. wait a minute, Garnigo. No. No. I wouldn't get him if I were you. No, you wouldn't, wouldn't you? No. Well, you're not me. But if I was you, I'd take my plan and get out of here. As far as I'm concerned, you're grounded. Yeah. Well, then this will make two of us. Come on, boys. Let's get out of here. Bullseye. Bullseye. Go ahead, Jeeks. Did you fall down? Oh, he hurt himself. Poor kid. All right. Now you're fired. You get out of here, too. And if I ever find you back here again, I'll have you thrown out. Oh, we've been thrown off better places than this. That's right. Well, you won't get back on this one. Well, we didn't get back on the other ones. Oh. Mm -hmm. May I 
check your hat? Mm. I don't mean to get inquisitive, but who's going to pay this check? Ah, oh, don't worry, I'll pay it. We're going to celebrate. Celebrate? Yeah. Celebrate getting fired? No, you don't think I'd let that gunner go fire us if I wasn't ready to quit, do you? We got a real job now. A real job? Yeah. We're in the army. Buck, Buck Privates? No, in the Air Corps. The order just came through to report at the Cal Aero School. It's right near here. And get this. They're going to pay me a salary while I'm learning to fly. Pay you a salary to learn how to fly? That's at right. At last, I'll uh, get my wings. <laughs> wings? Oh. <laughs> All right. Come on, will you pick yourself up? What's the matter with you? Daddy, daddy, daddy. You always right. get that look in your eye when you see a girl. Not me. I'm not going to fold just for anyone. I'm going to wait until the right girl comes along. And here she is. Ah. Come on. Come that was a fast romance, wasn't it? Never mind that. Come on, sit down. Right here. Here. This is swell. Nice table, Henry. I'll have a hamburger. It's quiet. We'll order something from the menu. Okay. Hey, you know, Jinx, there's one thing you overlooked about the army. What's that? No women. Women? You hate that? Yeah. Never thought of it. You know what we need? We need a union. What kind of union? A woman haters union. We should organize it right here. Oh, yeah? all right. Every union has officers. All those in favor of me being president, say aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Gotta have a vice president. All right. All those in favor of me being vice president, say aye. Aye. We don't want to be the whole union. I mean, after all, we want to be something in the union, Jinx. Oh, I'm elected president, so I appoint you secretary. Swell. I'm going to be something in this union, or I'll stuff the ballot box. Now, wait That's a minute. All. Wait a minute. How much money have you got? Thirty dollars. All right, you be the treasurer. All right? Fine. Okay, you're I'm going to be the treasurer with my own thirty dollars. What's wrong? Well, what's wrong with that? That's not fair. Well, now wait a minute. We've got ten dollars a piece in this treasury, you know. So be careful how you handle our money. Here's what we'll do. We won't walk with a woman, talk to a woman, or look at a woman. It's a deal. Okay? Right. Shake. That's the boy. One for all and all for one. That's what I say. One for all and all for me. Never thought I'd fall, but now I hear love call. I'm getting sentimental over you. Things you say and do just thrill me through and through. I'm getting sentimental over you. I thought I was happy, I could live without love. Now I must admit love is all I'm thinking of. Won't you please be kind and just make up your mind. Let you be sweet and gentle, be gentle with me. I'm getting sentimental over you. sentimental over you all the things you say and do just thrill me through and through i'm getting sentimental over you i thought i was happy i could live without love now i must admit love is all i'm thinking of won't you please be kind and just make up your mind that you'll be sweet and gentle, be gentle with me. I'm getting sentimental over you. to say goodbye. It's been a grand engagement here, and you've all been wonderful. And I wouldn't dream of leaving for any other job, except the one I'm going to, with the hostess corps of the USO. Goodbye, and thank you all again. Wait a minute. Stick to the union. Watch out. Yeah, speaking of the union, what about my $10? What's in those? Give me the $10 of mine you got in the treasury. What's you talking about? Well, you're holding $30 of our money. Give him his $10. Give him his $10. Why not? That's why I'm the treasurer. Sure. Wait a minute. I mean, after all, I'm giving you ten dollars. I don't know what for. Give me, you know. Look, uh, give him an IOU, Jinx. All right. He well, just wants to keep. He wants to keep his book straight. I want to be a businessman. I owe you ten dollars. Here, sign it. That's very good. I'll sign it. He's very businesslike. Heathcliff. H e e c. There you are. 
Thanks. Okay. See, that's what I mean. Gotta keep your books right and okay. do it like business. What was the idea of that? Wait a minute. What was the idea of that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's all right. Everything's all right. Congratulations, Linda. Thank you. It's the soldiers that should be congratulated. <laughs> Where are you going to be stationed, Linda? Well, How I'm about not... this farewell dance, Linda? How about oh, me? I'm sorry. Miss Joyce has this dance with me. Excuse us, boys. We're sitting this one out. Excuse me, Charlotte. Here, this table will do. There. Now, here we are. How have you been, Linda? By the way, my name is Jinx Roberts. Not really. The Jinx Roberts? Oh, you've heard of me. No. Now, if you don't mind, I... Don't get sore. After all, what's a guy supposed to do when he finally sees a girl that he's been dying to meet all his life and there's nobody to introduce him? Well, all right. Now we've met Mr. Roberts, and it's been a perfectly beautiful friendship. Too bad it has to end. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Jim! Hi. What kept you? Sorry to be late, Linda. We were delayed in traffic. I'm glad to see you. I was Why, just... Why, Roberts. <laughs> long. It's been a long time. Not long enough. You two know each other? Yes, we know each other. The phone's runny storms lately. You're still a fair weather pilot. Jim, I'd like to dance. But don't go away, Craig. I want to see you. Excuse us. Same old technique, eh, Roberts? I wouldn't advise it with Linda. No? Tell me more. Jinx, there's something I wanted to straighten out with you for a long while. Let's sit down and talk it over. We've got nothing to talk over. You've already straightened things out beautifully for me about four years ago. Remind me to thank you for it someday. Can I cut in? Well, thanks. Hey, Blackie, looks like we're going to have you in trouble. Get low that guy. Looks bad. You know, I ought to pick at the guy. That's what I ought to do. Well, let's do it. Let's make a sign. Yeah. That's what we'll do. We'll fix it. You got a pencil? No. Wait a minute. I'll get some. All right. I beg your pardon. Can I have your lipstick for a minute? <laughs> sure, dearie. <laughs> now, sweetie, here's some bobby pins in case you want to put your hair up. <laughs> here's a cigar in case you want to smoke. And here's a punch in the nose in case you want to fight. Here's your ten dollars in case you want to quit the union. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Let's make the sign. Say, is that on the level about you and that USO business? Oh, of course it is. You any idea where you'll be stationed? Why, the new unit near the Cal Arrow Flying School. No. You know who's going to be there starting tomorrow? No. Me! Hey, Jinx! Jinx! Remember the union! Hey, Jinx! The union! Union, they're restrained. Got to stick together, Jinx. Do you mind if I cut in? Why, certainly not, Heathcliff. But go right ahead. Oh, thank you. What is it? It's a new type of dance. Are you kidding? Uh, what? Go away. What do you want to do, wrestle? Nobody gets in here without a pass. Thank now you. get going. Let's go over the administration building. Pick it up. All right, all right. Pick yourself up. Hey, Blackie, this ain't the administration building. This is USO. USO? USO. USO, USO. What does it mean? No, USO. United Service Organization. See, this building is donated by the government and supported by unselfish Americans. This building here provides for these boys entertainment and refreshments and books and, in other words, everything to make it a home away from home. You understand now? All but one thing. What's what that? does you so mean? No, all right, come on inside. Let's find out where the administration building is so we can get our pass. 
Everything all right, boys? Yes, my friend. Did you care for anybody? Well, oh, that's all, thanks. Okay. Let's play a game of pool. Gloria! Gloria, is the other cake ready? Coming up! Well, bring on the army. Woohoo! Gloria. Gloria. Look, sister dear. One of these fine, sharp days, I'm going to teach you how to get a man in six easy lessons. That's what I said. Oh, tennis. <laughs> I am sorry, sir. What do you think I am, the eight ball? What are you trying to do, ruin the man's game? No. Uh, who's in charge here? Miss Phelps at the counter, sir. Over there? Right, thanks. I beg your pardon, could you tell me where the administration building is? Uh, over there, inside the gate. Yes, but how do you get in there to get a pass? Well, you can't get inside the gate without a pass. To get a pass to get inside the gate. It's very intriguing. Yes. Come on. Won't you boys have something to eat? Yes, ma'am. I'm a... Yeah, please, please. What do you mean, yes, ma'am? We've only got a quarter. You know that. Do you understand? What's wrong with you? What's happened to you? Well, a quarter. We can get something to eat. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll order a turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, see? And uh, I'll give you half. But if she asks you if you want anything, you just say, no, I don't care for anything. And if she asks me if I want something, I say, I don't you care say, for nothing. That's right. You mean we're going to put something over? No, 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 we're not, not putting anything over. We're going to try to slick her. Oh, we got us a quarter. Hey, uh, she'll think for a couple of big shots. That's a boy. Come I on. don't care for nothing. That's right. Uh, give me a turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, please. What do you have? I don't care for nothing. Oh, go ahead, have something. Give me a turkey sandwich. Then. Listen, I just get through telling you. I refused once, didn't I? That's enough. I know, but we only got a quarter. I mean, but the waitress says to me, go ahead and have something. I said, I don't care for nothing. Then you never, said, go ahead. Never mind that. that. You can't order. Never mind what I say. No matter I, how much you coax me? No matter how much I coax you, you just say, I don't want anything. I'll say I'll fill it up, that's all. That's all, we only got a quarter. I ain't, but I say I will. Well, say that. Okay. Then I'll give you half of my turkey sandwich. Okay, I don't care for nothing. Uh, that turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, please. And what do you have? I don't care for nothing. Oh, go ahead, have something. Go on, have something. Come on, you, you, you're in here to eat, right? Yeah. Go ahead, order something. Give me some ham and eggs. Well, I just got through telling you. What do you keep coaxing me Wait for? A, just a minute. We've only got a quarter. I know, but don't keep saying, go ahead, take something. I say, I don't Never care mind. for what you say, go ahead, take Never something. Mind. Never mind what I say. Just don't order anything. How are you going to pay for it? I'm filled up. I don't know if that's I'm not different. That's no matter how much I coax you, you don't want it. I'm deaf. I don't say I'm not quiet. You want a sandwich. You can't pay for two turkey sandwiches. Now, come on. I don't care for nothing. You don't want anything. Uh, that turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, please. Yes. Thanks. And what do you have? I don't care for nothing. Oh, sure you do. Now, stop bashing me. I don't care for nothing. That's all. I'm not in the mood you to eat. You just told me that you were hungry. I know. I told you a lot of things. But I ain't going to eat. That's all. Well, are you hungry? I beg your pardon, miss, but I'm not hungry. You are hungry. Now, look, you're in a restaurant. What do people go to a restaurant for? Not me. I'm just what in here. What do people go to a restaurant for? Sometimes I wonder. They go there to eat. Yeah, eat. That's what you're here That's for. That's a wonderful word, eat. Well, all right, order something. What a hurry. Now listen, you want people to think I'm a cheapskate around here? Well, go on, order something. Order something small. Give me a small steak. But I just, but I just get through telling you, huh? What do you keep coaxing before? Never mind that coaxing. No matter how much I coax you, you don't want anything. Now sit down there and behave yourself. Let the turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, please. Turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee? Yes. Yes. He don't care for anything. Yes. Thanks a lot. Quiet. Where are you going? I'm going to get out of here. What for? I mean, you wanted to get nothing to eat. I told you I'd give you half. You can have the sandwich. Don't worry about it. Well, hiya, fellas. What do you have? Oh. Here we go again. Do I have to write it down for you? Oh, smart guy. Yes. Hey, you're kind of cute. No, never mind that. Where's my turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee? Turkey sandwich, cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. That's for you. <laughs> hey, Plackey. Hmm? She gave me the cake for nothing. That don't mean we're engaged, does it? Oh, certainly not. I'm too young to fall in love. La. Here's your turkey sandwich. Thanks. I, I'm sorry I took so long. Oh, that's all right. I, I hope you enjoy it. Why well, will? Uh -huh. Uh, that'll cost you 10 cents, please. Hmm? You just give it to me for nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. There must be some mistake. Indian giver. Do you like cranberries? Oh, sure. I do, too. That's funny. I'll, I'll get you some. All right. <laughs> I thought she liked me. What do you mean? <laughs> Why should she like me? Quiet. We ain't got no more turkey. Huh? What's the matter with the cake? Why don't you eat the cake? I lost my appetite. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, there is. What? Is there any way you can sneak us through the gate? Well, it's, a, it's against the rules, but um, the guy's a friend of mine. I think I can kind of fix it for you. She likes me again. <laughs> what is this? Wait, I'll go get my hat. Come on, eat the cake. It's on me. What is she chewing, tobacco? No. 
Show me what light. Like that? Oh, it's right, it's a horse. Well, it's quite easy to tell. Okay. Here's your cranberry. Thanks a lot. That's good. Mm -hmm. I said that'll be ten cents, please. You just give me the cake for nothing when you want to get your hat. Hat? What hat? Well, you said you was going to sneak us through the gate. I never told you I was going to sneak you through any gate. First you tell me I can have the cake for nothing, then I can't have the cake for nothing. Then you say there ain't no turkey, and then there is turkey. Then you say you're going to sneak us through the gate, now you're not going to sneak us through the gate. Why don't you make up your mind? How dare you yell at me? I'm a brute, huh? Yeah. Gonna give me half? All right. Well, come on, fellas. I've got my half. Let's hit the road. Let's get out of here. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how those boys get in. Do you? Maybe we came in the wrong place, huh? Oh, no. Gentlemen, by your presence here, you have indicated your ambition to become a part of the greatest air force the world has ever known. I congratulate you upon your decision. In point of years, the story of the Army Air Corps is a brief one, but it is also a distinguished one. Your training of 20 weeks here will be an exacting task, but when it is completed, you will go on to advanced training in the Army's West Point of the Air. When you graduate, you will be commissioned in the Air Corps of the United States Army. One word of warning, some of you men won't make the grade, but being washed out as flyers needn't mean that you're out of the service. There are other jobs in the Corps that are just as important. Aeronautical engineers, observers, navigators, meteorologists, photographers, and a host of others. Remember, for every pilot that hits the blue, it takes many other highly trained men to keep his ship in shape, on its course, and properly manned. Those men are the backbone of the Corps. I'll turn you over now to Major Barstow, who will be in charge of your instruction. Gentlemen, you are in the Army. While you are here, your flying instructor will be your most important associate. Although that flight instructor is a civilian, you must remember that he is acting in the capacity of an officer of the Army and will be treated as such. Best of luck and keep them flying. Hey, Heathcliff, there's Jinx now. 
Boy, don't you wish you could fly a plane like him? Not me. I don't want to get in any airplanes, brother. I want to stay on a good old terra firma. And the firmer the terra, the terra I'm going to firma. Take over, mister. Detail. And hut! Forward! Hark! Barstow's compliments and report to his office at once. Major? Well, thank him for the compliments and show me the way. Here, bud. Well, well, well. Look who's here and on my reception committee, too. Gee, you look swell in that uniform, baby. Wait till you see me in mine. I have an idea that may be quite a way. There you are, mister. This way. Okay, okay. See you later, beautiful. Good morning, Major. My name is Roberts. They told me to report today at 11. Nice timing, eh? As I observed. For your information, Mr. Roberts, this is a flying school, not a circus. I trust that your entrance just now is intended to be a joke. But understand this. This school is under Army supervision and Army regulations hold. Those regulations are definite and they are enforced. Unless you intend to obey them, you'd better leave the way you came. Well, I think I'll stick around, Major. It's quite apparent that you've had flying experience of a sort. That makes no difference here. You're to start from scratch, learn to fly our ships our way. Get Mr. Morrison. You'll be assigned to an experienced instructor who will have direct charge of your training throughout your course. Yes, Major? A new student for you, Mr. Morrison, Mr. Roberts. So, you're gonna teach me to fly. Well, if I'm not the lucky one. I know Roberts, Major, very well. So much the better. You're better acquainted with the many things he's got to unlearn. Here we are. Oh, jinx. How are you, boy? Glad to see you. Hello. Hey, ain't he a wonderful flyer? Don't he do wonderful things in an airplane? Young man, you're intruding. I think so, too. I should wear a girdle. Who are these men? Oh, these two guys are my pals. These two, him and him. That guy over there, I don't know him at all. I said, who are these men? Must be hard to hear him. These two guys over here are my pals. That guy over there, I don't know. Hard! Oh, I get it. I didn't get it at first. Now I get it. I didn't know what you meant. Take your hand off first. I got heads. You lose. Will someone answer my question? Pardon, Major, but perhaps uh, Roberts could help you out. We're his oh, private ground crew. Private ground crew? Sure. Yeah. So, you didn't think our mechanics were good enough for you, eh? Get these men outside the grounds and keep them out. Wait a minute, Major. You can't do that. I mean, after all, Jinx, Blackie, and I were pals. And when Jinx signed up for the duration, that's what we wanted to do, too. But what can you do? Obviously, you're not pilots, and I doubt if you're very good mechanics. Well, there must be something around here that we can do. Sure, Major. There's thousands and thousands of guys like Blackie and I that want to do something to serve the country. We can't help it if we got flat feet or we've got poor eyesight. Maybe we haven't got training, but we're willing to try. Honestly, we will try hard, too. It all don't mean nothing if you don't give us this chance. After all, our hearts are in the right places. I understand all that, but... Look, Major, uh... when I was a little bit of a kid, I was too fat to play on a baseball team, so they made me the bat boy. And then when the football season came around, I was... I couldn't run fast enough to make the football team, so... So they made me the water boy. And now, Major, when you're training the biggest team that we ever had, there surely must be a place for Blackie and I. Maybe it's a water boy or a bad boy. Won't you, Major, give us a chance? Please, Major? Take these men to the chief mechanic and see if he can find something they can do. And keep an eye on them. Thanks, Major. You're a swell fella. I'm gonna see if I can't sneak you into the Woman Haters Union. Jinx, he's a wonderful man. Come on, you two. Wonderful man. Come on. Come on, he's clear. Come on. Come on. Excuse me. They said I was to be in here. Hmm, not so bad. Oh, hello, how are you? 
Say, I'm lucky to get you to room with. You know that little Joyce dame, don't you? Look, I got special plans for that babe. A nice spot all set up for her in the old trophy room. Hey, what's the big idea? Just happens that I'm particular how guys talk about my sister. Your sister? A couple of fine jobs you got for us. Good job, huh? Yeah, a couple of janitors, that's what we are. Oh, well, we're working. Don't tell me, we're just a couple of water boys. What are you talking about? We're right near Jinx. I mean, after all, if Jinx was around here. What are you doing with those? Hi, kid. They're mops. What are you doing with the mops? Well, we're just carrying out orders. What orders? We were sent over here to mop up the field. Throw them away. Okay, I mean, that's all you What are you doing? So you guys wanted to get in the air service, huh? Well, brother, you're in it. Now get busy and taxi that plane off the field. Come on, you heard what he said. Taxi the plane off the field. Taxi! Taxi! What are you doing? Oh, taxi! What's the matter with you? Gotta get a cab, get the plane off. Oh, no, it's nothing of the kind. Over here, we've gotta get it off. Huh? We've gotta get it off. Okay. Which way are we going? This way? That way. <laughs> What's the matter now? Can't budget. Come on, get on that wheel. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the matter? Contact! Contact! What are you talking about? Oh, ain't you an aviator? Contact! All right. That means... Well, get a hold of it. Come on. Come on. What's wrong? What's wrong now? What is... What is the... What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What? Right. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Keep your feet from under the wheel. They say that there's a guy they call Bigfoot Pete. He plays piano by ear. Turn he plays all night for pigs, feet, and beer. He's murder on the 88. He's the guy that brought the boogie woogie up to date. He's got a cannon in his left hand and a rifle in his right. He's just a double barrel. Yeah, and a shoot the eight feet to you at a platinum range. He's just a solid whiz. Who he is, he's Bigfoot Pete, a boogie woogie's in least. His hands are just as big as birds in your hand. And when they go to work, they're like bathroom vans. And when he plays on that box, the joint box, I tell your beat till your stars forever boogie. It's part of the plan, you find a bigger foot and feed the boogie woogie man. Way out in Kansas City on one, two street. They say that there's a guy they call Bigfoot Pete. He plays piano. He plays all night for Bigsby, Bigsby and Bear, Murder on the 88. He's the guy who bought the boogie woogie up to date. His hands are just as big as what's in your hands. And when they go to work, they're like bathroom rams. And when he plays on that box, the joint rocks. I tell you, be sure your socks forever boogie. It's part of the plan. Bigfoot Pete, the boogie woogie man. Bigfoot Pete. The boogie woogie man. They call him Big Bird. The boogie woogie man. Would you care for a sandwich? Thank you, Gloria. I'm not Gloria. And if you don't mind hereafter, please call me Miss Phelps. Hyatt? Want a sandwich? Joyce, shut up, little. Listen, you just gave me a sandwich. I did not give you a sandwich. Yes, you did, Miss Phelps. Miss Phelps? Oh, just call me Gloria. Why don't you make up your mind? What do you want me to call you? Gloria or Miss Phelps? I'm getting sick of this. Oh, he said, let's have a dance. I don't want to dance. What's the matter? I got another idea. Let's unite. Go out on the porch. What's the matter? Don't you like dancing? No. Nah, that's just a whole lot of hugging set to music. Well, what don't you like about that? The music. Oh, Heathcliff. Okay, Miss Phelps. Miss... Oh, please. You can call me anything you want. I can call you anything I want? Mm-hmm. Gloria, you can call me anything you want, too. Okay, jerk, come on. Isn't it wonderful out here? You and me and the moonlight and the stars. So romantic. Just like the moving pictures. Boy and a girl, they sit alone all by themselves and... 
Pastigno, they fall in love with each other. Hey. Oh, who's Cliff? Gloria. Take yeah. it easy. Oh, I was oh, the sort of wrong. Gloria. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you something. What he Cliff? If I ask you, you can get mad, will you? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Ashamed. Oh. No, no. I'm gonna hide. Please. Gloria. Yes, he could. Would you? Would I what? Would you? Well, well, would I what? Go on. Give me a bite of your sandwich. It's a fine thing. I bring you out here thinking that the moonlight and the stars, you and me alone, will make you very romantic. All you do is get hungry. Those fine characters. Well, maybe this will mean something. <laughs> oh. Heathcliff, come on, we've got to fix something for Jinx. Boy, am I burned up. You. <whistles> come on. Hurry up. Come on. And that's partly why I gave up my job and came here, Craig. Will you stop worrying? Your brother will get his wings. But are you sure? You think Jim is the first student who's ever had that complex? Well, Pardon I... me, sir, you want it on the phone. On the phone? Mm -hmm. Telephone. Won't be a minute. Mm -hmm. It's right over there in the corner. Way, way over there in the corner. Thanks. Right this way. This booth right here. Thank you. It's all right. Hello. Hello. Yes? Yes, what? Uh, this is Morrison. Who? Morrison. He ain't here. He ain't around. I don't want Morrison. You don't want him, then? What are you, what are you calling the guy up for, then? I'm not calling anybody. Oh, a practical joker, huh? Will you get off the line? I'm waiting for a party. Oh, a party, eh? Well, I'm sorry. I was to a party last night. I can't go again tonight. Two nights in a row is no good for me. Who is this? I won't tell you who is this until you tell me who is you. Listen. I'm Morrison. Morrison. Morrison, eh? When a guy gets here, I'll tell him you want to talk to him. Listen, you bird brain baboon. I'm trying to explain to you that this, that I'm Morrison. Look, look, look. You'll, you'll, you'll have to keep quiet and don't shout so loud. I can't hear what my party's saying. Oh, I'm... Sorry. Okay. Uh, now, uh, listen. Craig, there's another thing you must understand. Jim wants to fly more than anything else in the world. It's only that... When he was a kid, he saw his dad crash. He's never been able to forget it. When it came time for him to solo, he couldn't make it. He got sick. You know? Sure, plenty of us know. We're keeping quiet. We're just as anxious for Jim to solo as you are. Linda, do you think that anybody who knows anything about flying could have forgotten your father and what he did for the game? I... I don't know what... Look, I didn't come here to talk about your brother. I'm much more interested in your brother's sister. Why do you think I got rid of Morrison? Listen, for the past five minutes, I've been trying to tell you somebody called Morrison. Well, why don't he answer? Because I'm Morrison! I'll tell him when he gets in. Listen. If I had my hands on you, I'd bust you right in the nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. And I'll fight you. And I'll fight you. And I'll fight you. And I'll fight you. We better call it a draw. You better call it a draw. Listen, as soon as you hang up, brother, I'll meet you outside in front of the recreation room. In five minutes. I'll be there. Don't forget to be there. Yeah. Don't have any of those other cadets around to help you. I don't need any other cadets. I'll be there all alone. You're darn right, because I ain't gonna be there. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Just had some trouble with the guy on the phone. Me too. <laughs> Into the air. The wings of America are in your hand. Into the air, you fly cadet. You're the symbol of all for which America stands. Spread your wings, you eagles, and fly. Time for fledglings to take to the air. Hit the beam and get those planes in the sky. And let's keep them flying there. 
we're an all-American team. And we see every play eye to eye. Hit them hard and fast. Let that be our theme. And let's keep them flying high. Join that American eagle up there. Keep the skies clear together. He's the undisputed king in the air. And that makes us birds of a feather. Spread your wings, you eagles, and fly. of the aerial type torpedo. Now to make sure that you've all understood, I'd like one of you to repeat in detail the description I've just given. What about you, Mr. Roberts? Huh? I'm sure you won't have any trouble. What do you mean? About the aerial type torpedo. Oh. Well, this torpedo is a recent and valuable addition to Air Force armament. It functions for both air and water attack. It has a water speed capable of 56 knots and airspeed unlimited. It contains 963 pounds of high explosive in the warhead, which is enough to make a molehill out of a mountain. The motor operates by hot gases, fumed by the combustion of secret chemicals and compressed air. The air is stored in a special chamber, 4,862 pounds to the square inch. And the motor of the torpedo was started by the simple expedient of releasing that pin. Anything else, Professor? That's all for today, gentlemen. Hey, Blackie, how many miles an hour did the Jinx say that that thing goes on water? Miles an hour? Yeah. Well, it's not miles an hour. <laughs> not on water. There's nautical terms for that. Now, if you walked up to a sailor and you asked a sailor how fast that was going, he wouldn't say miles to you. No? He'd say knots to you. He would, huh? Mm-hmm. And I say knots right back to him. Oh, well, uh, I mean, After all, I think I don't want to talk. I mean, there's no talking like that. It's well, I mean, useless. That's, that's... Hey, you! Come here. Who, me? Come here. Man, won't you? Okay. Return this torpedo to the supply office for shipment to the air depot. Are you sure you mean me? Yeah, you. Get on and watch your step. Okay. No, no, no. Wheel it out of here. You and the rest come with me. Hey, Blackie. What's the matter? I'm scared of this thing. Why? You, you heard what Jake said. This is full of high explosives. What are you worrying about? The explosives are in the front. You stand in the back. Then if it explodes, you'll never know it. Oh. I'll never know it. I don't get it. I think I'll christen you after my girlfriend. Heath, Cliff. Hiya, Heathy. What's cooking? I was just going to christen this Gloria. After me? Why? Must I tell you? <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Let me try it. Go ahead, you christen it. Okay. You better close your eyes so the splash won't get all over you. Well, you better close yours too so you don't get wet. All right. Go ahead, do it. Okay. I christen the Gloria. Planes are flying too low. Much too low. That was you, wasn't it? What are you christening me for? I was christened a long time ago. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Heathcliff. You all right? I'm all right, but it's that little gadget I'm worried about. Hey, you okay. know much about these things? Oh, sure. Is it dangerous? Only if you pull the pin out. What pin? This here one, right here. We <laughs> for <laughs> Torpedo, I'll never speak to you again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, Cliff, where are you taking that torpedo? I ain't taking it. It's taking me!
Don't grab me. Scratching me. Scratching you. I'm cutting my... Ooh, 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 ooh. Stop! Otherwise, I can't get up. I hope I can hit nothing. Hey! spin and then level her out at 6,000. Okay, kid. Just an off day. We'll make it tomorrow. instruction than any of them. What's wrong with me, Jinx? Maybe your instructor's got something to do with it. No, it's not Craig's fault. He spent more time with me than any other student he has. Why would he do that if he didn't want me to make it? Oh, you'll solo. Soon, too. Stay, uh, Jim. Linda and I are going out and have some fun tonight. How about coming along? Thanks, Jinx, but not tonight. And don't say anything to Linda, will you? You go and have a good time. sneaked away from Blackie. Now I can spend my own money the way I want. The young lady wins it all. Thank you. Hey, you see, you're lucky with me. You know, I still can't believe it. That you're here with me tonight, I mean. I can't quite believe it myself. But then I often have strange, weak moments. Well, that's good. Lunch? Yes, sir. How many you got? About 20. 20? Give me one. One? That's all I want, just one. Yeah. Get really thin. I mean, after all, if you're gonna make faces at me like that, I'll, I'll bring my business someplace else. Come on, let's go in here. Well, there's Jinx and Linda going in the Tunnel of Love. Tunnel of Love? You know, Gloria, that's the one place where I could have an awful lot of fun with you. How? Well, first of all, you and I could get in a boat all by ourselves. Yes. And then when the boat gets to a nice dark place. Yes. Where nobody could see us. Yes. <laughs> and then what'll happen? We could take our shoes off and put our feet in the water. Yes. Why, of all the unromantic dopes. <laughs> oh, you poor guy. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Cheap skate. Gloria! Gloria! It's the dis... It's... You can't do that. Come back here. Gloria! Oh, no, you don't. Not so fast. Ooh, oh. oh, so it's you, is it?
Barbara. I used to steal in this place. You did? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I bet it was fun, huh? Yes. What? We always... Oh, oh, I... oh, oh. What's the matter? What's the matter, dear? Oh, that's only a stuffed egg. Everything around here is a fake. I'm glad I'm scared oh, of Oh, come now. Come on, dear. Come now. Oh. Did anybody see what I saw? Gloria. My girl. With my best friend. Blackie. Blackie. Why do this to me? I've always been nice, Blackie. I'm true with women. No more. Can't get over it. Oh. Ooh. No more women for me. I was living a nice life. Thank you. I was minding my own business and everything else. Have another one? Find time to get brave. Of all the times to pick out. Gloria, is, is that you? I hope. Give me your hand. I want you to. your nails. Wait for me! Come on, sweetheart, relax. Let's have some fun. There's nothing in here to hurt you. I know, I'm, I'm just a little bit frightened. I'd much rather get out of here. All right, we'll get out. We can... Gloria! Hey, Barbara Blackie! Gloria! Why, Gloria, what are you doing here? Uh, I've been playing tag with Heathcliff. I don't know what's cooking here. Once he loves me, then he doesn't love me. I don't get it. You know, I think the guy's wacky. No, I get it. He thinks that you're you, and he thinks that Barbara is you, too. He really doesn't know that you're sisters. Gloria, I'm sorry. Two of them. Come here, Heathcliff. Heathcliff, come here. What's wrong, Lucky? I never took a drink in my life, but right now I feel like getting drunk. No. I do, really. No, you don't want to drink. Remember, every time you go into a bar room, the devil goes in with you. If he does, he buys his own drink. Oh. Oh, you don't understand. They're twins. Twins? You mean Gloria's two girls? No, Barbara is my girl. And Gloria is your girl. Come on, Barbara. See you later, Gloria. Hi, Heathcliff. <laughs> Gloria. Yes. I'm sorry. I've been a fool. A big fool. Oh, it's nothing at all. <clears throat> I'll be able to tell you apart. You had me baffled. Come on, let's go on a tunnel of love. Come here. I'm the one. Oh, excuse me. Well, I've got the tickets. Come on, sweetheart. Not that one. That one's mine. Wait, wait a minute. Let me see. She's yours. Oh, yes. This is going to be fun. I'm looking for the boy with the wistful eyes. Oh, I adore the boy with the wistful eyes. We met, and for a second, his lonely eyes beckoned. Then the chance was missed. I passed the boy I should have kissed. Though I don't 
know what color his eyes may be. I can't forget the way that they looked at me. And now, all alone, through two wistful eyes of my own, all I'm looking for, I realize, is the boy with the wistful eyes. I'm looking for the boy with the wistful eyes. Oh, oh, I adore the boy with the big sharp eyes. We met, and for a second, his lonely eyes beckoned. Then the chance was missed. I passed the boy I should have kissed. So I don't know what color his eyes may be. I can't forget the way that they looked at me. I realize is the boy with the wistful eyes. We're looking for the girl with the wistful eyes. Do 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 do. Oh, we adore the girl with the wistful eyes. Da 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 da. da. We met him for a second. His lonely eyes beckoned. Do do do. Is the boy with the wistful eyes? He's the boy with the wistful eyes. Oh, Morrison, I've just been checking the records on your students. They've all done very well, except two men. Joyce and Roberts, yes, sir. I wouldn't worry about Joyce. There's a special problem there, but I think you'll make it. And Roberts? Well, uh, maybe the answer for Roberts is another instructor, sir. You mean someone who knows less about him? Looking over Robert's records, I find he was once discharged as a commercial airline pilot. His license temporarily suspended for flying through a storm against the dispatcher's orders. Was he, sir? Yes. And his co-pilot on that particular flight was a man named Morrison. Craig Morrison. Yes, sir. Are you in favor of eliminating him? Major, we need flyers, and potentially Jinx Roberts would make one of the best Army pilots that ever hit the blue. But when that happened years ago, he got the mistaken impression that it was I who reported him. So maybe with another instructor, he might... Come in. Mr. Roberts, certain facts concerning your past record as a flyer have just come to my attention. Those facts, plus your record since you arrived here, would seem to call for a review of your entire case. Pending that review, you will remain on post and do no flying. You're grounded. Is that clear? It's only too clear, sir. That's all, mister. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to give you a lesson. I'm going to teach you how to fly. Look, I don't want to fly. I got a very funny complex about these things. Wait a minute. There's no engine in this plane. I know. Even so. Look, you see the boys taking it out? Yeah. Come on, now get in there. No. Come oh. on, get up in there. Oh, Blackie, I don't want to get up there. Get up there. Please, Blackie, I don't get up there. Get up there. Nice. Come on. Blackie, Blackie, get, up. Blackie, get, up. Blackie, get in there. I don't want to get up. Go ahead. What's the matter? What's the matter? Look how high I am. Oh, stop that. Give me a parachute. Blackie. What's the matter? Let me come down. Give me a parachute, will you, Blackie? A parachute? Give me an umbrella. Give me something, will you, What Blackie? do you want that for? I'm getting airsick. Oh, behave. Do something for me, somebody, will you? Come on. Stop the plane. Stop the plane, will you? Stop what plane? This plane is not moving. Oh, don't be ridiculous, please. My head's going around, huh? That's impossible. Flying today is as safe as sleeping in a baby's cradle. Now, come on, okay, get Okay, you fly. I'll go by cradle. Get in there. Get in there. Fly. Now, get, get in there. Go ahead. Okay. That's the boy. Now, strap yourself in there. 
Huh? Strap yourself in there. Strap myself in? Yeah. In the plane? Yes. With a strap? With a strap. Around me? Around here. Yes. No, wait, what, what's the matter now? I ain't gonna strap myself in there. Why won't you strap yourself in? Let go. Blackie, let go. I'm not gonna strap myself in that airplane. Why not? In case I wanna jump out. I'm not gonna drag no plane with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, now, come in. What goes, kid? I'm through. Watched out. Who said so? Nobody, but that's what it means. Everybody in the class had a chance to solo except me. I'm not gonna get a chance. Did Morrison tell you that? He didn't have to. Where is it? Jinx, that's no good for either one of us. This is a better idea. Well, packing your bag's all right, but how are you gonna get out of here? You just can't walk out the front gate without a pass, you know. Hey, maybe you're right. Why don't we both kiss this place goodbye? Come on. Hurry up, Blackie. Wait a minute, Jinx. You can't what? do this. You can't go up in the air in a ship. You can't go up without orders. You're grounded. Write me a letter about it, will you, Heavey? Write your letter. If the Major ever finds out about this, he'll send you so far. It'll cost me $10 to send you a postcard. Here's the other shoe. Hey, mister, have you got a clearance? When you see my friend Morrison, give him my love, will you? admit Jinx is a great flyer. Maybe he's trying to help Jim. He's breaking regulations. Can't anything ever be more important than your regulations? Listen, you crazy fool. Get back down here. Get down now. Just as you say, Professor, I'll be right down. Thinks he's back in the circus. Now he's got to solo. He can't land it. Where do you think you're going, mister? Jim, can you hear me? Jim, what's wrong up there? I can't get my speed to land. Don't take any chances. Bail out. You understand? I want you to bail out. Don't take Don't any chances. Don't bail out. If he bails out now, I'll never fly again. Here, Give bail me out, phone. will you? Give me that phone. Jim! Jim! Don't bail out, kid. You can make her. Just cut your engine and let her glide. Starts to stall, drop her nose. Stick to that ship, kid. you can walk away from is a good landing. Get him to the hospital at once. Yes, oh, yes, sir. Sir. Find time to bail out, Roberts. When your throttle was stuck, you still don't care very much about other people's lives, do you? You don't think that... Linda! Linda! Look, be all right. be okay. Well, Roberts? I don't think there's much can be said. If that boy's badly hurt, there'll be charges against you, serious charges. If not, 
You can start looking for another circus in the morning. You're washed out. Doctor, Jim's all right. No, Miss Tell Joyce. Tell me the truth, please. Well, unless my diagnosis is wrong, your brother is suffering from nothing more serious than shock. There's every reason to hope that he'll be as fit as ever tomorrow morning and up there flying. But you aren't sure. <laughs> I'm sure enough to know that you'll be better off and so will he if you go home and get some rest. Thank you, Doctor. Good night. Good night, Miss Joyce. Linda. Linda. I've been looking all over for you. You can't believe that I left that kid up there with a throttle jam, because I, I didn't. All right, you didn't. Wait a minute. I'm leaving in the morning. I've been trying to run things my way, and as usual, my way went haywire. It's, it's funny, the things that a guy will do sometimes to try and make a girl realize that he's in love with her, isn't it? Yes, Jinx, it certainly is. Very funny. The starting procedure is simplicity itself. On contact, you turn the switch, pull the toggle to engage the starter, and then hit the booster mag. Easing the throttle forward increases the speed of the engine. For the takeoff, you Come on. ease the stick back. OK, boys, she's all set and ready to go. There's still plenty of life, and it's all great yet. You're telling me. Now, come on, Heathcliff. I'm going to give you another lesson on how to fly. Good. You know, Blackie, I'm not afraid anymore. No? No. Flying this plane without an engine that's a lot of fun. Ah, you can't fly this plane off the ground without an engine. I know. That's why it's a lot of fun. All right, come on, put this on. OK. Go ahead. It's going to be a little too hot, so I don't think I'll eat that. All right. Get up here. There we are. Okay, okay. That's the boy. Up west. Look how brave I get up now. I swear. I, I don't even ask to come. That height gets me. No, every time no, I look no, no. You see, you're starting it all over. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Right, go ahead. Get in. That's the boy. Now, don't forget what the instructor told you. Yeah. Well, he didn't tell you, but he told the rest of the boys, and we heard him, didn't we? Yeah, he said, first you got to turn on the switch, and then you put your hand on the start over here. That's right. Hey, Black. Black. What's that noise? Oh, well, that's one of those planes over there. Oh, Pay yeah. no attention to that. You enjoy yourself. Some darn fool forgot to put the brake on. Well, put it on. Stop shaking the plane. Not shaking the plane. What if there was a motor here? <laughs> Boy, he's a cold. Why do they put air cooling systems in these hangars? I'm going out and get my jacket.
Keep the nose up! Yes! What are you doing? I'm keeping the nose up! Cadets we've ever turned out, Colonel. Hey, Jinx, do we have to beat it right now? There's a big show going on out there on the field, and the whole place is full of admirals. Generals, you dope. This is the army. I'm sorry. Look, Jinx, please. We're getting out now. Don't take my arm along with you. Spread your wings. For fledglings to take to the air. Hit the beam and get those planes in the sky. And let's keep them flying there. We're an all American team. And we see every play eye to eye. Hit them hard and fast. Let that be our theme. And let's keep them flying high. Join that American eagle up there. Shortcut myself. Be seen here. We'll follow you right in, sir. Calling Bevan in Transport 4. One of the parachutists is caught on your fuselage. Don't land the ship till you get him loose. Can you see who it is? Morrison, sir. We can't get him. He's out of our reach from inside the plane. What orders? Just keep flying. Jinx! Jinx! Look! Who is that? Forrest! Forrest? Because I can't figure out how to get him down. Where are you going? Jinx! Come on! Jinx! You can't walk an apple! Let him try and stop me. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know yet. Hurry, Heathcliff! 
Hurry up! Come on, what are you dope circling this plane? We're gonna get the plane up there. Jinx is in trouble. He might need us for help. Well, what are we waiting for, boys? Come on, okay? Boy. Will you let me get in? Will you stop pushing? Let me get my feet in. Uh, don't push. I don't want to fall out. Move oh. over. Oh, still. Will you let me get my feet in? Oh, don't push me. Hello? Robert's calling. Contact the transport and tell him to keep flying level at 90. I'm going to get underneath him and try to get him into my ship. Okay. Bevan's in the transport. Bevan's in the transport. Listen. Keep flying level at 90. Roberts is going to... Out of us. I was a bit scared myself. Jinx! I... I don't know what a guy says in a case like this. Yes, I do. Thanks for proving I was right. I don't get it. When I told the Major that Jinx Roberts is the best flyer that ever hit the blue. Okay, Professor. Jinx! I had a long talk with Jim about yesterday. I should have known you were trying to help, and it worked. And I'm very grateful, Jinx. Grateful and... You certainly can make it difficult for a girl. What do I have to... And Jim! Excuse the interruption, mister, but that was a superb job up there. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. What's this man doing in Mufti, Major? We should have him in the Corps. Well, I was in the Corps, sir, but I washed out for good reasons. I'm beginning to realize that. As long as you feel that way, I have an idea your case needs reconsideration, Roberts. Report to my office after maneuvers. Yes, sir. Carry on, mister. What's wrong? The motor is clunking out. You boys better bail out. Better bail out. Bail out? Yes. 5,000 feet in the air, the guy must be looking for a bossman. I won't wait for bail out. Jump out. Shoot her. Yeah. With your shoot on. Yeah, with my shoot on. What do you think I'm going to do? Jump in my underwear? Come on, Black. Come on. The motor's OK. Don't jump. Heathcliff, get off there! What? 
please get off that. What? Get off that. Look at the I can't talk any louder. Get off that. Can't hear a word of guy saying. Wait a minute, Frankie, I'll fix it. Wait a minute. Will you get off there? How do you think I feel about it? Heathcliff, please don't go up in the air anymore. Don't you worry, Gloria. If I live to be a million, nobody will ever get my feet off the ground again. Merciless sun, across the trackless desert, march the men of the Foreign Legion. Unwanted men, the forsaken of a hundred nations. They came to the Legion to forget. Our story is about two men whom the Foreign Legion would like to forget. And they were unwanted, even in Brooklyn. But let us start at the beginning and the cause of it all. These two wrestlers. script says you get butted, you get butted. What a rehearsal. No emotion, no fire, no nothing. The best script I ever wrote, and you guys smell it up. Tell him he's the one I can't read. I don't have to read. I'm the wrestling champion in all North Africa. Don't you guys realize that nobody's gonna pay good money just to see wrestling? You've gotta dramatize it. No. You've gotta suffer it. You've gotta... There you are. No. Get that expression of suffering. That's acting. Hold that expression, Lou. I want the boys to study it. Hold it. Okay, Lou. That's enough. Don't ham it up. Come on. Come on, get out. Hey. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. I want you to show these guys how to do their parts. Uh, first of all, you'll stand in for Abdullah. Come on. Now, we'll start from the top of page five. Uh, wait a minute. Here we are. Uh, now, 
Bert charges in with a drop kick. Abdullah goes down, but is he hurt? No. He looks up at Bert and sneers with contempt. Now, wait a minute. Now, watch carefully. Go ahead. Come on. Don't take so long to fall down. I want Abdullah to, to get the proper timing. Come on, come on, come on. I'm awfully sorry it took me so long to fall down. All right, all right. Now, you're Bert. You're Bert. Abdullah, retaliate. <laughs> Lou, will you fall faster? You're slowing up the whole action of this script, and I'm not a bit happy about that fall. That makes two of us. You want me to do it again, Mr. Jones? No, certainly not. I don't want you to get hurt. Uh, look, take the next move. And really pour it on this time. Go ahead. No, no, no. Abdullah, can't you bounce him a little harder? We're not getting the right sound effect. That's it. Now you've got it. Get the idea, Bert. Huh? You're taking a terrific beating. Abdullah's murdering you. You can take it. Thanks. I always do my best. I'm not wearing you out, am I? No. All right, Abdullah, that's enough. I don't want you to tire yourself out. Bert, take over. Fine, Bert. Are you tired? No. Are you tired? No. Whose turn is it? Mine. Mine. Uh, all right, we'll toss for it. Heads. <laughs> it's tails. I win. We'll do the Boston routine. The Boston routine? Uh, the Boston routine. Boston routine. Uh, what? Why? Ah, no, wait a minute. Let's do the whirlwind finale. That's the one. Oh, you did. Oh, hey, Bert. Get me off this merry-go-round. Oh, get me down. That's fine. That's it. That's just what I'm looking for. What a touch. It's beautiful. You, you the victorious hero, and you, beaten into surrender, crawling away like a whipped dog. Abdullah's no whipped dog. I'm a great champion. I never lose. But Abdullah, you won last week in Boston. Tomorrow night, it's Bert's turn. You know, after all, he's a big favorite in this town. Abdullah's the greatest wrestler in the world. I never lose. I'll quit first and return to my tribe. Now, wait a minute. Let's take it easy, brother. You know, you've got a signed contract with us. And remember, I borrowed five grand from the syndicate to bring you over here from Algiers. I don't care. Abdullah says goodbye. But what about the five grand? Say goodbye to that, too. I'm taking the first boat home. Hey, stupid. Come on, stupid. Abdullah walked out on us. We've got to get him back. We'll be in plenty of trouble if that guy blows town. What guy blows town? What'd you say? What guy blows town? How can you talk with your mouth shut? Well, Abdullah blew. Oh. What do you got to say, Josie? Well, uh, if you're talking about the five uh, grand, boss, uh, don't worry about that. I'll get it back to you. Five grand, small change. The setup we got for Abdullah's worth a hundred grand. Wouldn't want us to lose that kind of dough. But would you, Jonesy? Oh, I... I... Uh, uh, don't, don't give it a second thought, uh, Frankie. We get Abdullah back if we have to chase him around the four corners of the globe. Don't worry about a thing. Come on, Lou. you a question. Go ahead. Just what are we doing here? We're looking for Abdullah. We are? Sure, he bought a ticket for Algiers. Uh, neighbor, do you know Abdullah the wrestler? The wrestler, Abdullah. The little show him a picture. Yeah. This is the way he looks undressed. That's it. And here's the way he looks dressed. Yeah. He wears the headdress of the El Manaya tribe. Oh, so you know him. Oh, no, no, no. I, I know nothing. I, I want no trouble now. Go away. Go away. 
Go away! Who? He is ugly. Oh, I wish we could find someone around here to give us a sensible answer. So do I. Good. She's beautiful. Hey, bud, I'll get some sense out of this here one. I'll ask her. Ay, 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 ay. Bud, come here. Come here. What's the matter? You talk to this lady. Maybe she can have a Oh, Sure. Answers. Uh, yeah. This is mine! This is the one I... Ab you... Yeah. Oh! Uh, do you happen to know Abdullah the wrestler? 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 These wrestlers are very strong, and they, and they, they try to get a, a hold on you, and, and then they put their... Um, and they... they sometimes they they, they, they... they sort of pick it up and, and on their head, you get it? And then sometimes... And then, then again, they... They, they give you a headlock, right? They, 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 they. You, you don't know how to wrestle? Can I show you? you? You see, I'm your opponent. And then, then you take one arm and put it around your opponent. And you take the other arm and put it on your opponent. And then sometimes your opponent wants to give you a bear hug and he, 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 he. Lou! Hmm? What's the idea, kissing? I'm not kissing anybody. What is this? What is that? Who? How did that happen? What are you trying to do? Get us killed? Oh, no. In this country, men don't get familiar with women. They don't? Certainly not. Well, don't they kiss them? No. And, and don't they go out with them? No, they don't. And don't they, uh, don't they... No, no, no. They don't? No. Boy, is that woman in the wrong country. I... Oh, will you... Maybe there's a hotel. Let's check in. Okay. Will you get out of my way? Or you stay outside and watch for Abdullah. Abdullah? Abdullah. I'll do it. Now, you sit down there and keep your eyes open. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, just a minute. Here's a tip for carrying the bags. Put that down. Put that down. Put it back. Put that down. Ah! I must see Joseph at once. His Excellency, Sheikh Hamoud and Sergeant Axman are with Joseph. I have important information. Joseph? Not now, out! Why didn't you warn me, Axman, that the Legionnaires would be guarding the construction camp? Last night's attack cost me 12 men. It was worth it, Sheikh Hamoud. Uh, this morning at the Commandant's office, the railroad company engineers were raging. On this very map, they showed him that unless he can clear the desert of your raiders, they won't be able to lay the tracks from Beni Abbas to Guarla. The company will be forced to build the railroad the long way around at a cost of one million pounds. What did the Commandant say? He promised them more troops. A full company will proceed tonight from Fort Lalmont here to Beni Abbas here. Cut them off and destroy them at El Galeo. And the construction camps will be at our mercy. Well, always more attacks. What about money? If you can stop work on the railroad for another 30 days, the company will have to pay us whatever we demand. He insists his information cannot wait. There are two Americans in town looking for your cousin Abdullah. What do they want with my cousin? I don't know, Your Excellency. They may be spies for the railroad company. Sheikh Amud, I suggest that you leave Algier immediately. As soon as I finish my business at the slave auction, these Americans can spoil everything. They will be taken care of, Excellency, mm -hmm. by Ivory. He never fails. I don't want anything to happen to them in the streets. Ivory is wise. We'll drag them into an alley and... Uh, why not the Americans die? Yes, sir. There's one of them. <laughs> Go with these and find the other. Yeah. <laughs> 
fellas. I don't know what this is all about. Is it because I kissed that girl? Huh? I hope not. I've never been in such trouble before in my life. And excuse me, please. Let me see. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. What a nightmare. <laughs> Some men outside chasing me. But if you are found in here with the girls, you will be killed. If I find outside with the men, they'll kill me too. Me? Yeah. Oh. There are no men out there. Are you sure? Say, go look for yourself. I think I will. No, here. Hey, maybe they're gone. Is that bad? If they find you, they will kill you. That's bad. Mm -hmm. oh! You cannot go in there. If the guards find you with the slave girls, they will kill you. At least in there, I'll die happy. Open the door! Open the door! We'll break it down! Hey, fellas! Stand back and take a run and break the door down! Get up on your feet. That's all you want to do is rest. Oh. Now, I said get up. I Smith. told you to keep your eyes open and watch out for Abdullah, didn't I? I did. As soon as my back is turned, you go to sleep. I found three members of the El Maniah tribe. Where? I opened my eyes and here they were. Right here. Here? Did they tell you where Abdullah is? They were too busy chasing me. They chased me right into a room full of girls. And never mind the girls. Tell me about the men. Oh, the girls were beautiful. Especially the one girl. Never mind. Uh, listen, she was exotic. Forget, about, she forget was... about the girls. Tell me about the men. How, what do they, they look like? They didn't appeal to me. But never the girls. The girls. Never buddy, mind the girls. I never saw such Will a you please tell me girl. about the men? Oh, the men? Yes. They were vicious. Yes. They were big. They looked like that. And one guy had a face. He had a face all over a face. With a big mustache. <laughs> like that. Yes. And they had knives. And they had little knives, too. They got another name for them. Uh, Dirks. Yeah. The whole train of them were Dirks. Back, bud. They, 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 they look like these guys. And then, and every time I took a step, they would take a step. Oh, come on. I think so. I want to go home. There's something I want to take back to America. What? Me. Oh, uh, will you stop acting like a coward? Who's acting? We can't go home. If we go home, Frankie will have us bumped off. Oh. We're safe as long as we stay here in the crowds. And now, gentlemen, lot number 36. Three slave girls. You must buy all three or none. We cannot break up the set. Yeah. Do I have a bid? I have a bid of 5,000 francs. Do I have more? Do I hear more? 10,000 francs from the Great Desert Sheik. Any other bid? Any other bid? 10,000, 10,000! So to his excellency. Slave girls. Slave girls? Slave girls. 
Uh, the girl you take home, she cooks for you, she sews for you, she does all your washing, and she's a servant for the rest of your life. In Algiers, they call them slave girls. In America, we call them wives. I... Well, no chance. They're over there. Not while I'm here, you fool. It might bring the Legionnaire. And now, lot number 37. Six beautiful girls, the prize of the auction. Prince Musa ben Mahmoud is liquidating his holdings. Just look at these gorgeous desert flowers. Do I have a bed? Hey, there's a girl. I met when those guys were chasing me. We have no time to bother with her. I have a bid uh, of 5,000. Hey, shirts. wait a minute. Five this dame setup might be just the thing to attract Abdullah. Let's look around, see if he's in the crowd. From the great desert sheep. I now have a bid of 10,000 francs. Do I hear more? Do I hear more? I now have 15,000. Any other bid? Any other bid? I now have 20,000. I now have 60,000 francs. The sheik bids 80. I have now 90, 100, 120. 125. 140,000. 160,000 francs. 160,000. Any other bid? Any other bid? 160,000. Hey, what happened? Some American bought all these slave girls. Um, hey, get a load of that guy over there. He looks mad enough to slit somebody's throat. Oh, him? Yeah. He's my pal. He was waving at me all through the auction. Then somebody said, sold American, and he stopped. He was waving at you? Mm -hmm. Yes, he was going like that. So I waved back. Why, you nitwit? You bought the girls. <gasps> Let's get out of here. Come on. Uh, let me congratulate you, and you can pay me the money now. Uh, Make uh, a out of uh, I'm sorry, neighbor, but uh, my friend changed his mind. The deal is off. Oh, you can't call it off. Sheikh Hamoud bid a fortune for these girls. Can't help what he bid. But you must buy them. I can't. He just changed my mind for me. Perhaps you would let me talk to them. I may make them change their mind again. Oh, my master, wouldst thou not like six beautiful girls to serve you? Six pairs of feet to do thy running. Six pairs of hands to do thy bidding. And six pair of lips to do my kiss. Now, look, lady. Excuse me. You're beautiful. May I kiss one of your six pair of lips? No! Mm? Oh, what is this again? Who keeps putting those things in my mouth? Lady, this guy hasn't got enough dough to buy you. Quiet, slave. Do you think maybe the auctioneer, he would take, say, 75 cents down and maybe a dollar and a quarter a month? I, I mean, do you think that, that... Shut up, you stupid fool. You've ruined all my plans. For months I've been trying to enter the household of Sheikh Hamoud of the El Manaya tribe, and you outbid him. I'm sorry. I'm s sorry. Uh, I'd like to talk to that sheik. You know, we're looking for one of the members of his tribe. Uh, Lou, uh, show her a picture of Abdullah. Come, come, I cannot wait all day for my money. Oh, uh, one moment. I must see you later. Where can I meet you? We checked into the Hotel International. I'll contact you. How are you going to get out of here? I am in no danger. I'll manage. Oh, uh, he would like to think it over. Think it over? Six beautiful girls for only 160,000 francs? 160,000? Yes, and it's a good buy. A what? A good buy. Good, good buy! <laughs> Legion. Thank you. 
Turn our back, somebody throws a knife at us. A knife? You a knife! Put that down. Listen. That is a matter for the local gendarmerie. This is headquarters of the 1st Bataillon de la Légion étrangère. It is not. This is the Foreign Legion. That's what he said. Now listen, neighbor. We're not a couple of American tourists can be pushed around. Yes, we're here on business. Big business. And what is the nature of your business? <laughs> I think we're out of business. <laughs> You're relieved, Corporal. I'll handle this. Well, gentlemen? Uh, we're looking for a guy. Where does the Elmanaya tribe hang out? Well, the last Legion report, they were somewhere in this area. But I doubt very much whether you'll be able to find them. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we ask Sheik Hamoud where his tribe is? What do you know of Sheik Hamoud? What do I know of Sheik Hamoud? <laughs> Today, I outsmarted him in a deal. That was very clever of you, but also very dangerous. I'm afraid it won't be safe for you to be out in the streets. Well, how, how are we going to get out of here? Why go? It's the Legion's duty to protect you. So why not stay here until I make sure that everything's all right? Are you sure we're not crowning you? No, we take men in every day. But uh, how are we going to get out to eat? We serve you food here. Oh, mm. boy, room and board. How much do you charge? Nothing. Nothing? Well, we sure appreciate it. Isn't there something we can do for you? Well, just a little thing, a formality. Oh. We like to keep a list of our guests. Sure. You don't sure. mind signing your name, will you? Here. It's mighty nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and you can be sure we'll be quiet, if you know what I mean. No wild parties. <laughs> that I'm sure of. However, there are a few little rules and regulations. Raise your right hand, boys. Your right hand. I'm left-handed. Your right hand. Yes, sir. Jurez-vous solennellement de soutenir la dignité de la République française contre tous ses ennemis, vos supérieurs de la Légion étrangère. Say, I do. I do. And you? I do. I do. Oh. Oh, what's the matter with you? Oh. See that? Here. Now that we're married, I do hope you make me happy. Ah, uh, shit. Cruelty. I want a divorce. Gentlemen. Yes, ma'am. What? Uh, yes, sir. That's better. Well, he's got to be one or the other. Shh. Mm. Now, gentlemen, if you'll step through that door, you'll be taken care of. Through that door? Thank you. We'll be seeing it. Every day, you've just signed up for a five-year stretch in the Foreign Legion. <laughs>
you're a heavy dummy. <laughs> Climb in. I want to see how the recruits are doing. We will come along. I'm tired. Relax. Yeah. All right, on your feet, men. Hit the wire on the level. Let's go. All right, Lou, follow me. Don't worry about a thing. Come on, Lou. Okay. Over this way. Hey, bud, come on. I help you. Come on. Yeah. <clears throat> what kept you? Yourself a legionnaire? You are disgrace to the sacred memories of the magnificent men of the Legion who fought and died at Barfa, El Mers, Meduna, and Ratsas, not to mention Bokamoj, Meknis, Fates. You forgot to mention Azusa, Anaheim, and Cucamonga? Oh. Do not despair, my commandant. I'll make a legionnaire of him one way or the other. You're dismissed! Attention! You can't talk that way to a wounded soldier. What do you mean, wounded? I, I just hurt my finger on that barbed wire there. Blood! Before I'm through with you, you'll see blood. You'll be surrounded by blood. Your machine gun will riddle your enemies until blood flows like water through a sieve. Your sabers will hack and slash the human flesh. With your trench knives, in the black of night, you will creep upon a man and rip and rip until he falls apart. And when you wade victoriously through the blood of your enemies, glorying in the gore of battle, then he'll be a legionnaire. I can't understand it. First the attack on the railroad company's construction camp at Biskra, and now the massacre of 40 legionnaires at El Golia. Sheikh Hamoud seems to know our every move. It's obvious, sir. There must be a leak somewhere. Quite obvious, Sergeant. Thank you. But how do we stop it? Every day, Hamoud becomes more and more daring. Who knows where he'll strike next? Sergeant, investigate that gunfire. Yes, sir. Sound the alert. <laughs> You surrender. Lou! Why didn't you shut that gun off? I didn't know how. I didn't uh, know how. Uh, Corporal, how did this happen? I told him to assemble the gun. Let me tell you something. That's a dangerous thing to have in the army. Somebody could get killed. Throw these men to the guardhouse. Sergeant, you were to bring Hotchkiss and Jones to the Commandant immediately. Take them away. This will be a pleasure. In here. Oh, stop that. Hmm? Mon commandant? Oui? Here are the men you sent for. You are Hatchkiss and Jones? Confidentially, you can call us Bud and Lou. That's Bud, that's Lou. Sergeant. Oui, mon commandant? Give these men a pass to go to town tonight. A pass? But I thought that... Those are orders from a source I cannot question. Yes, sir. You men be at 82 Rue Lafayette at 8 o'clock. 
Us? We. Oh, the three of us are gone? No, just you two. Us. We. Yes, that's what I said. The three of us are... Why don't you make up your mind? Are you going or aren't you going? Get out! Get out of here! Take them out of here! All right. Get up. Just so you won't forget the address, I'm writing it on the pass. 282, Rue Lafayette. That was 82. 282. The Commandant says 82. Attention! Hey! 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 Here it is, 282. I don't like the looks of this thing. You shoot up the post and they, they give us a pass. Why? I don't know. Yeah, there's something wrong. We better case this place. Bud. What? There's something very important I want to tell you. What's that? I'm going home. <laughs> State. We will not be able to dispose of the Americans if they do not appear. I've thought of that. If they are not here by ten past eight, I have ordered the military police to classify them as deserters and shoot them on sight. Deserters? That means us. We? We? Come on. Lou, we're in trouble. Where do we go from here? Let's go to the dock, get a boat, and go home. MPs and they're looking for us. And if they find us, they'll shoot us on sight as deserters. Well, look, we can't make a move unless the coast is clear. I'll check up. You stay right here. Don't move. I will. So on too. That's two of them. I'm going to find out how many there are. I just saw one. I saw one too. We're surrounded. Listen, we're not going to stand here and get nabbed without putting up a fight. No. Be right here. Yeah, always. I'm going around this building and flush them out. If I happen to chase one around this way, boom, bang them. Right over the head. I was too busy. Somebody was chasing me. Now, you listen to me. You stay right here. I'm going to backtrack. And I'll get him. And don't forget to use that club, do you hear? Okay. I'll stay right there. Backtrack. I'll backtrack, too. That's okay. I got one of them. <laughs> hey, we're gonna fool them. Mm. You go ahead as a decoy. Then when they sneak up behind you, I'll sneak up behind them. And clunk. Simple. I have to be to do that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. me on the shoulder, and just as I, I... Hey, Lou, wait a minute. 
Was it you I bopped? <laughs> oh, gee, I'm sorry, Lou. I didn't mean it, Lou. No. Oh, you know I wouldn't do that to you. Here, take my club and hit me right on the head with it. Go on. I don't want to. Go on, Lou. Take my club and hit me on the head with it. I don't want to use your club. Why not? I want to use my own. I... I... <laughs> Come on, wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's the use? Come on. Oh, no, not again. Help! I've been looking all over for you. I'm sorry, lady. We can't waste our time with you. We deserve it. You can't. I need you. I am Nicole Dupre, French Intelligence. I arrange for your pass tonight. You? We. Oh, then you had somebody help you. No, no, I arranged it. That's what I said. You did. We. Yes, you had somebody help you. No, no, no. We. O U I means yes. Well, what does I O U mean? No. Oh, shut up. Why didn't you obey orders and come to 82 Rue Lafayette? 82? Sergeant Axman told us to go to 282. Axman? Yes, Axman. We saw him in a room with five Arab hoodlums. Chic Amoud's men. Axman. Il est le traiteur. But I cannot take your word for it. I must have evidence. If you will help me find it, I will see that you get out of the leisure. It's a Please. deal. Hurry, then. Search his quarters before Axman returns to the post. We. Oui. That means the two of us. We. Oui. Come on, come on. Insane. I don't mean you're insane. No. You're cuckoo. Shh. Will you listen to me? Look, I'll take the bed. You take the bureau. Wait a minute. Are you positive? Positive. You want me to take the bureau? Take the bureau. Take the bureau. Take the bureau. Hurry up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what are you doing? You told me deliberately to take the bureau. I don't mean take the bureau. Search it. Search it. Search it. Hey, Bud, what are we looking for? Something to tie up Axman with the Arabs. And if we find it, we've got him trapped. Trapped? Yes, trapped. Yes, trapped. 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 What's the matter? <laughs> oh, can't you keep out of trouble? <laughs> now, listen, I... what's wrong now? <laughs> Will you keep on searching and keep out of trouble? Hey, I think I found something. How do you know? This paper with the Arabic writing on it. What more evidence do we need? None at all. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, bud. Shh, quiet. I've got to decipher this thing. Oh, I'd like to see the expression on Axman's face when he finds out that this is gone. You can. You can. If he knew we had this, he'd kill both of us. Don't give him any ideas. Then all we have to do is turn it over to the girl. This is our ticket out of the Legion. Then we walk up to Axman and snap our fingers in his face just like that. Who told you to search my quarters? Who is this girl? Answer me! Attention! Sergeant, we just received a radio message. Fort Tapar is being besieged by Arabs. Reinforcements will leave immediately under Captain Chabal. Assemble your patrol. Yes, sir. 
At ease. Thank you. I beg your pardon, sir. Yes? We have some very important information for the Commandant. Yes, sir. Information that will put someone behind the firing lines. What is it? Take a candle at this, please. Three shirts, two drawers, four socks. This is an Arab laundry ticket. Idiot! About face! You two get your equipment. You're marching with the patrol. This order into the desert is most convenient. Do you mind if I say one word? No. Two thousand two hundred twelve, two thousand two hundred thirteen, two thousand two hundred fourteen. I don't get it. They march us all day, and at night we've got to guard the supplies and take care of those smelly camels. I got hip to this army life back in 1945. 45, 46, 1947, 1948. 1949. My father, he was hip to it in 1917. 1917, 1918, 1920. 19, My uncle. 21. That is the guy was contented. He was happy. He was a rough rider in 98. 98, 99, 100. My grandfather. <laughs> he was a drummer boy in 61. 61, 62, 63, 64. Even if that girl did get our message. Our chances of getting out of here would be 100 to 1. 101, 102, 103, 104, An axeman. 5. There's a wise guy. Rings us into this outfit for five years. Five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll find a way out. I'm a pretty smart cookie, too. Two, three, four, five, six. What are you doing? Seven, eight. The captain told me to check the ammunition. That doesn't mean to count each bullet. Put him back. Put him back! Now, you see, you've scared the camels. Come on, we've got to quiet them down. Seven. Hey, one of the camels are gone. I wonder which one it is. I think it's the one with the humps. It must have been Sally. She was the sweetest one of the two. Well, we've got to look for her. I ain't going out in that dark desert tonight. What was that? It ain't no camel. <laughs> oh, it's just some kind of an animal. We'll have to go out and look for Sally. Come on. Not me. I'm going to stay right on the spot. Nothing's going to move me. All right. headquarters and report the casualties and tell them how lucky I was. Yes, how lucky you were. Uh, we'll never find her. Maybe she went home to her mother. What do you mean? Well, I mean, after all, dogs go home to their mother and cats go home to their mother. And when I'm a bad boy, I go home to my mother. That's right. Why couldn't camels do the same thing? I think so. Hey. We'll follow her trail right into Algiers. Hey, that's a good idea. And then when we get to Algiers, we get down to the dock, we'll take a boat, and we'll go home. Good idea. Now, stay on your toes. What? What's, what's Come on. Come on. Let's follow the camel tracks. Oh, watch out. Bud. 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 I can't see anything. Lo, there's no need of kidding ourselves. We're lost. Oh. If we don't find water soon, we're garbage. 
I'm not going to make myself believe that people die of thirst on a desert by not finding any water. I'm not going to make myself believe it. I won't believe it. I believe it. But this is not going to happen to me. I'm going to get some water. Someplace on this desert, there must be a place to get water. Water? Yes. Have some. Thank you. How will you teach toward? Hey. That skeleton asked me to have a drink of water. Easy, pal. It's only a mirage. Don't crack up. We'll find our way out of here and find a patrol. Look. How long can a man go without water? I don't know. <gasps> I... Water! Water! Oh. Look! We're saved! <laughs> oh. Hurry up. You hold the cup. Okay. Water and water. 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 Sand. 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 Uh. Ah! Look! Lou, you've got to pull yourself together. Give me a towel. <laughs> Lou, men go crazy on the desert following mirages. Oh, yeah, but if you don't chase mirages, how do you know they're mirages? I mean, you can't. Look! I know. Don't tell me. I just saw a mirage. I just saw a double chocolate mirage. Don't feel bad, Lou. It could happen to anybody. It could even happen to me. Yeah. Come on. They gave me a bad corner. X ray, X ray, read all the time. Take a paper. <laughs> I've just seen another one. Yeah. But, but are you sure you haven't seen any of them? No. Uh -huh. No, Lou. But I told you, it could happen to me, too. I always. Look! Lou! Lou! It happened. Hey, Bart! You're making a fool out of yourself. There's nothing there but sand. Oh, Lou. Lou, nice cool water. Come on in. Into what? Bud, will you come out and shake the sand out of your ears? Blue, come on in. It's nice and cool. Look, all water, Lou. Nice, cool water. Look, Bud. Go like that with your hand. Go ahead. Look, Lou. Look. He don't know that sand. You poor boy, you're cracking up. Now, Bud. Come out! Let me help you. 
Wonderful, wonderful. It really was? Sure. But what? What's that? Sing. Naturally. Now. What's that? Water. Water. Sweet. Hey, Lou, when you get through playing, I'll be asleep behind the rock. Go ahead, have a good time. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It ain't sand. It ain't sand. This is real water. Come here, come here. Come, come, Salim. You swill water like a thirsty camel. I am not drinking. I lost my false teeth. <sighs> and we will lose our heads if we allow any legionnaires to slip through. Bud, mm -hmm. did you hear somebody talking? Oh, nonsense. First you're seeing things, and then you're hearing things. Relax. At least we won't die of thirst. I'm slowly starving to death. So starving to death. That's just in your mind. It's imagination. You can imagine you're starving to death. You can imagine you're eating a delicious dinner. Well, you're having you're having soup. A great big juicy steak. I like spaghetti and meatballs. All right, so you've got spaghetti and meatballs, mashed potatoes, peas, pies, chicken, coffee, chicken, chicken, chicken too. Oh boy. Uh, what are you doing? Chicken. Put that down. Where are you going? I'm gonna get some water and wash it down. Yeah. <sighs> Bud! Yeah. Bud! Yes, yes, yes. Now what? Somebody was here. Yeah. Bread. Bread. Now we can have bread and water. Oh, no. There's a lot of fish in there, boy. We're going to have a nice fish dinner. Oh, come on. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you like fish, don't you? I love fish, buddy boy. Yeah. I love fish. Boy, are we going to have a feast. <sighs> Get a nice big fish now and we'll build a fire, cook it to a nice golden brown. <clears throat> hey, I got one. Oh, I got one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Get it. Get it. Look at that, baby. <laughs> Hold still now. Okay. There we are. We're gonna eat. There you are. Wash them off and clean them up. I gotta I get some more. I, I, I get this son of a gun. Yeah, take it easy. He's a take fresh it easy. little son of a gun. He's a... Stuff. Now we're getting places. <laughs> Lou, 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 stop splashing the water. You'll frighten the fish away. Hey, hey, I got another one. Hey, yeah, boy. What a feast. Clean it up. the fish I caught. I know I got them out of there, but where are they now? Did you eat them? Where are they? Hey, don't tell me you threw them back in. Oh, no, he got them. Who got them? Some fish that went to Painless Palmer. What are you talking about? I'll show you. Fire! 
right? What do you tease me like that for? Hit him with a rock. Hit him with a rock. Give me a rock. rock. Help me with this big rock. Come on. I'll throw this you. right at him. Come on. Pick up. Pick up. You're sitting on it. What do you want me to do? Hey. Oh, don't you wish this was a mirage? Master. Oh. Down on your knees, you dogs. Ah, oh, yes. The Americans. I remember you from the slave mart. It's a good thing you didn't kill them. He likes us. Because now I shall have the pleasure of killing you myself. And please be assured, I shall conceive an extremely painful death for both of you. Take them away. Hotchkiss, Jones. Nicole, so you finally got him. You came to get us out? No, I got myself in. What's the meaning of this? I thought these men were dead. They will be shortly. Take these swine away and see that nothing happens to them until they're supposed to. What are you doing here? Things are happening. I had to get her out of Algier. Well, very thoughtful of you to bring her to me. She's French intelligence. She's already turned in Joseph. How much she knows about us, I don't know yet. Well, it'll please me to find out. She'll live in what otherwise might have been a very dull evening. I'm afraid this evening you'll be busy with other things. A company of legionnaires is on the march to Fort Apar. If you expect to hold the fort, you better have your men there. I made other arrangements. Before we left, we mined the fort. My men are waiting impatiently at a hidden detonator for the reinforcements to arrive. Hamoud, you are a fool. Axman is using you. There is no way that you can win. You just be pretty and keep quiet. And don't try to do anything about what you've just heard. You're much too beautiful to die. Come with me. I'll see that you're dressed in something more attractive. This is a terrible way to die. Mister, can I tell you something? No. You'll be sorry if you don't listen. No. This may mean your life. No. All I'm trying to tell you is that I am not tied to the post. Kullu wahad yeji min huna wa shufu akbar musarat al Hassan. Tusu fi hador al muhasanatin. What is he talking about? How do I know? I speak every language but Greek. But he's talking Arabic. It's still Greek to me. Ala baleja, ala baya, ala shoes, ala tuli. <laughs> what was that? They're off at Santa Anita. Oh, nonsense. Hot or cold, we're left at the post. A reception committee for your American friends. That one, the tallest, is my cousin, Abdullah, for whom they've been looking. What a time for them to find him. Al an satushahiduna manzar sayaqtulu hadran al khanazir al munhattin. Oh, gee, they're nice people. Just what'd you tell them? I said that Hamid's wrestlers will now tear you apart with their bare hands. You got something there. You, 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 oh! Oh, well, at least we've all got to die sometime. You've got nothing to worry about, though. You've lived a good, clean life. Yeah, but I'd like to live a little longer so I could dirty it up a little bit. Uh, I... Abdullah! Abdullah! Boy, are we glad to see you. Yeah, listen. We'll forget about the money you owe us if you tell him, Ood, not to have his wrestlers tear us apart. Swine, it'll be me who'll tear you apart. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't hurt you. We 
you said, you said, oh. That was for the benefit of my dirty crook cousin, but we got to make the act look good. Hey, how about that Patterson routine? Okay. Okay. We gotta save Bud. I wanna save both of you. Hey, how about the Boston routine? You know where you go nuts? Yeah, okay, give me the business. Okay. Ouch! <laughs> I'm blinded. I can't see. Oh, you stupid ox, you've got the wrong one. <laughs> Abdullah's on our side. He was doing a Boston routine. Well, let's get out of here. Come on. You guys gotta help me get back to Brooklyn. We gotta help you? Yeah. If I stay here, I have to marry the Sheik's daughter, and is she a dog? Take a look. What do you think? I think she's either a very ugly girl or a very pretty monster. Hey, we gotta help Bud. Quick, give me the business. Okay. Oh, we did it again. I'm blinded. I can't see. No, no, Abdullah. You've got the wrong one again. Abdullah's helping us. Abdullah's trying to kill us. Yes, but he's still helping us. Selfish. Oh. Somebody stop him. Some of these Arabian apples. Yeah, apple. Apples? Mmm. That's an onion. Uh. Stop, you fools! Catch those legionnaires! <laughs> this time they shan't escape me. I'll kill them both with my bare hands. I told you not to trust Abdullah. I'll slit his throat. <laughs> And now, back to food. Abdullah, we must hurry. The whole camp will be after us. Axman's ah! jeep, come on.
idiot. What are you trying to do? Get us killed? <laughs> We lost the arrow. We found him again. Stop! They're our own men. That is the men of the detonator. They must think we're Arabs. This is our chance to save the fort. Go to those men. Okay. Great we. Where did he go? Come on, will you get going? I will not. Arab, sir. Look, the Legion. Lafayette, here we come. Yeah. Lafayette, we are even. Convince them. No wonder we are dressed as Arabs. They do not know who we are. They are alive! But they do! Do you remember the voice? Abdullah. No. What have 
I done? I killed my pal. Lou, what have I done? Lou. Don't tell me. Lou, he's gone. Oh, don't, don't bother me. He realized what I've done. I killed the best little pal I've ever had. He was such a sweet little guy. Look at, he's gone. <laughs> I'll never be able to see him again if he was only here so I could get on my knees and apologize. I, <laughs> go away. You, you're not... I, Lou, Lou, it's you. You're not dead. No. You're not hurt. No. You're all right. Yeah. Why, you dirty double-crossed... You. Present arms. Citation for valor, for bravery in the face of the enemy, for unmasking and aiding in the capture of a renegade and traitor. For valiant service above and beyond the call of duty, you have earned this citation. What's she talking about? He's going to give you a citation. Citation? What do I want with a horse? What horse? Citation. That gives me another mouth to feed. Shit! Private Lou Hotchkiss, I decorate you. You will write me, won't you? <coughs> Here. And now, to ensure the continued honor and glory of the Foreign Legion, it is my pleasure to present you with your honorable discharges. There's a boat leaving for the States in 20 minutes. Be on it. Yes, yes sir. sir. Company, dismissed. Thank you, miss. Come on, Abdullah. Thank you for everything. Attention. For valiant service, I decorate you. Come on, hop in. If it's all the same to you, bud, you ride in the front, I ride in the trailer. Trailer? Yeah. What have you got in the trailer? Oh, just a few knickknacks that I picked up. I'm going to take them back home with me. All right. No! Knickknacks, <laughs> eh?